How sustainable are stencils that you make on your own? But even a better question is, how sustainable are stencils that you make on your own utilizing a glue gun? We're going to find out this week. The coffee cup prompt for this month is stencils. And I have a couple of things planned. This week we're going to make our own stencils utilizing a glue gun and test those with some gel press printing. In the upcoming weeks, we are going to be utilizing stencils that were designed by members of my Facebook group over at Tool Crows Mixed Media. There's a number of artists that have created stencil designs for PM Artist Studio. I have placed an order to PM Artist Studio for a set of each of their stencils. And in the upcoming weeks, I would like to introduce those to you, introduce you to their channel, if they have a channel on YouTube, and give back a little bit of what they've given to me by participating in my Facebook group and subscribing to my channel. So, as you know, I am Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Let's get started with this week's prompt following stencils. <clears throat> now to get started, my setup is very simple. I have folded a sheet of paper to match the size of my gel press. I've laid it on my table and over the top of it I have a deli sheet. That deli sheet is waxed on both sides. You can use deli sheets, you can use wax paper, you can use freezer paper, anything that is waxed that you can peel this glue off of once it's cooled a bit. To begin the design, I went around the outside parameter with one big square along the edge of that white paper that you see. Now I am just putting little squares inside and making sure that each time I add something, it's connected to a previous draw, if you will. So I'm drawing my stencil out with my glue gun. And in this particular version, I am just doing squares and rectangles, not paying real attention to where they are as much as if they're connected to something else. Because when I peel this off, I don't want any loose pieces. So let's get this finished and then we'll take the next step. So now that we have everything connected and everything glued, I am putting another sheet of deli paper on top and mushing it down or kind of flattening it with a heavy book. I wait until it cools a bit and then pull the sheet of deli paper off. This allows me then to peel my stencil off the wax paper or off the deli paper and here is what you wind up with. So I have a completed stencil and I showed you at the very beginning all the stencils I created and you can see them up in the upper left. So now let's just get to work with testing them out with some gel press printing and I will see you at the end to show you all the prints we got and talk to you about how these glue based stencils have held up.
tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday
through the wind I give in I'm storming, breaking like the tide Every time A bit dizzy I close my eyes I feel the fizzy I'm standing waiting Patience Like an oak I was laid Right here Your 
These glue gun stencils held up quite well. They're very durable. I used them over the course of two days, two different gel press printing sessions, and I feel that I came up with some pretty decent results out of a simple configuration with a glue gun. Here are some of the prints that I received. I think they will make great backgrounds. Come back and join me for the rest of the month in this coffee cup prompt where I will be using stencils that were created by members of my Facebook group over at Two Old Crows Mixed Media Facebook group. And I've, as soon as the shipment comes from PM Artist Studio, we'll get started with showcasing those artists. Appreciate you being here. Here is the playlist and I shall say bye for now.